Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandu Seed Company. I wanna talk about corn, okay? Corn is such an amazing crop, and I'm not saying that just because I'm from Kansas. I really do love corn. It's delicious, it's so much fun to grow, and you only really need a few couple key things to be super successful. So number one, corn needs more than one stock to grow successfully. So you won't actually get any corn cobs if you only grow one or two stocks in your garden box. You actually need as many stocks as you can get. So if you open a pack of our seeds, that pack of seeds has enough seeds to plant at least one five by five block, which if you have the room, it's a really good idea. You can see here that we've got this growing very close together in a block. And why do we do that? We do that because pollination for corn is key to be able to get corn cobs. If there is no pollination, well, you're not gonna get any corn cobs. So how does corn pollinate? Well, you can see here, this is a really good example. You have down below the silks, these beautiful silks at the bottom. These are actually what receives the pollen from the tassels up top. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but when I shake this, there's actually tiny bits of pollen that are flying through the air and they move through the wind. They're, they're a wind pollinated crop. So if you live in a really windy area and you only have one row of corn, well, what's gonna happen? That pollen's gonna blow past the silks and you're not gonna get a full head of corn. So it's really important that you grow it close together and you will allow for the pollen from the top to fall to the silks at the bottom. Now, one thing you can do is help aid in that process by coming in on a calm day when it's not windy and shaking the corn in a way where it's the pollen is falling down onto the silks. That'll allow you to get much bigger and fuller cobs of corn. So I really suggest if you've never grown corn before, give it a try, it's so much fun, it's delicious. This is a variety of sweet corn that we're growing. And honestly, we'll probably eat all of this in just a couple days because it's so good.